Have you been considering a move to Portugal? In this video, we'll be talking about the top 20 compelling reasons why Portugal is an exceptional destination to call home. With its beautiful beaches, rich culture, and affordable cost of living, it's no wonder that this sunny European country has become an increasingly popular destination for expats from around the world. There are many reasons why someone might choose to move from the U.S. to Portugal. Here are the top 20. Portugal has a lower cost of living compared to many major U.S. cities, meaning your money can go quite a bit further. For example, a two-bedroom apartment back in Denver, comparable to what I rent here in Portugal, would cost about $2,400 a month. Here, I pay about $650 a month, and I have the added benefit of rivers, the ocean, and mountains all minutes away. For a more detailed look at the cost of living in Portugal, you might want to check out my other video on that. Portugal has a national health service that provides affordable health care to all residents. In addition to that, I pay only about an extra 1,600 euros per year for complete private health care coverage for both my daughter and I. Physical therapy is about one euro per visit, or if you want to go to a therapist that offers more holistic types of treatment, <laughs> you can pay a small amount out of pocket. I pay about $28.50 per hour for an hour session that includes massage, chiropractic, acupuncture, and even ozone therapy. This is the best physical therapy I have ever had. An x-ray costs me a whopping one euro and 25 cents, and a CAT scan about 10 euros. Portugal has a Mediterranean climate with warm summers and mild winters, making it a great place to enjoy the outdoors year round. It's kind of amazing how many different climates there are in this one very small country, which is only about the size of Indiana. The north has cooler and wetter weather year round, while central and southern Portugal are hotter and drier. A little something for everybody. I count myself lucky that I get to live in a place that is so incredibly beautiful. Portugal is a beautiful country. Every day I am inspired by beauty everywhere. I see it in the abundant nature, the ancient architecture, the delicious food, and of course, the lovely people. The beauty here fills my soul on a daily basis, and I do not take it for granted. I fill my cup every day with a walk in nature and it never gets boring. With mountains, the ocean, forests, waterfalls, there's beauty everywhere. Portugal has some of the most beautiful beaches in Europe and honestly I would say in the world. From the Algarve to the green coast, there are stunning beaches all along the coast of Portugal. In the south of Portugal, you'll enjoy crystal clear, warm turquoise beaches, while the north has colder water and some of the biggest waves in the world, perfect for surfing. Wherever you are, sunsets are fabulous. Portugal has a long and fascinating history with cultural influences from Europe, Africa, and even Asia. In the northern part of Portugal, there is a strong Celtic influence, which I find fascinating. The Galician Portuguese language spoken in these regions even contains linguistic traces of Celtic origins. Additionally, cultural festivals and celebrations pay homage to the Celtic roots through music, dance, and traditional attire. Roman presence in Portugal is evident through the numerous archaeological sites that have been unearthed throughout the country. The Romans built impressive structures including aqueducts, bridges, theaters, and temples, which demonstrate their advanced engineering skills and aesthetic sensibilities. On April 25th, 1974, Portugal witnessed the Peaceful Carnation Revolution, a military coup that overthrew the authoritarian Estado Novo regime, which had been in power for nearly 50 years. Azulejos have their origins in Moorish art and design. 
the Moors introduced this decorative tilework technique to the Iberian Peninsula during their rule in the 8th century. Azulejos are ceramic tiles that are typically hand-painted with intricate designs. Many azulejos depict scenes from Portuguese history, religious stories, and everyday life. They are considered a visual narrative of the country's past and reflect the artistic styles and influences of different eras. Portugal is known for its delicious cuisine, from fresh seafood to famous wines like Port and Vino Verde. I find ample places to enjoy new, yummy delicacies almost every day. Plus, I have favorites that I go back to again and again. The Portuguese culture is known for being laid back and relaxed, making it a great place to live if you value work-life balance. And who doesn't need more balance in their life, right? The Portuguese people are known for being authentically warm and friendly to foreigners and, well, pretty much everyone. I have definitely found this to be true, and quite frankly, I have had many experiences on a regular basis that pretty much blow my mind because I never received this kind of kindness and care from people in the United States, and over here it's just so natural and consistent and beautiful, and I love it. <laughs> Portugal is considered one of the safest countries in Europe with low crime rates and a peaceful way of life. It is consistently placed among the top 5 to 10 safest countries in the whole world. Coming from a country where gun violence is a regular concern, I am grateful to enjoy a much greater sense of ease and peace here. With trains, buses, and metro in the bigger cities, it's very easy and affordable to get around. Monthly metro passes can be purchased for a steal, and train travel throughout the country is also really affordable. It takes about four and a half hours for me to get from the north of Portugal down to Lisbon and only costs me about 70 euros round trip or for another 40 euros, I can go first class. For longer travel, there are cheap flights to bunches of fantastic spots all around Europe and well, the whole world. The position of Portugal in Central Europe, along with the many low cost airfares, makes it easy to travel throughout Europe. I regularly take advantage of this. Most recently, I visited folks in France where we hiked in the Alps, Ireland where we wild harvested medicinal herbs, and then down to southern Spain where I got to experience the healing of a super amazing zero point field generator. If you are enjoying this video, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, and ding that bell button. It really does help out newer channels such as mine. Lots of people are looking to leave the United States right now. And Portugal has some of the best residency visa programs available. I chose Portugal because of all of the reasons included in this video and also because of the ease of obtaining a residency visa here. If you're interested in finding out more about this, check out the link in the description down below where you'll find a link to my comprehensive online course with detailed information. Portugal consistently ranks high for quality of life, with a focus on work-life balance, healthcare, and education. I definitely find that more people here choose quality of living over quantity. The Portuguese people have experienced really hard times in the near past, and thus learn to rely on each other to survive and thrive. They learn to squeeze the nectar out of life in all the ways possible. It's about finding the sweetness and the richness and the simple things, which I absolutely resonate with. Here in Portugal, cities and towns are typically much more walkable than in the United States. Many cities in the United States are super spread out and you need a car to get around. Whereas in Portugal, cities and towns were built with walking in mind. It's easy to get around on foot and in the bigger cities, there's fantastic public transportation too. While Portuguese is the official language here, many Portuguese people speak English fluently, making it easier for English speakers to integrate and communicate. Of course, if you're moving over, you'll want to learn the language eventually, 
and there are lots of ways to do this. If you want to check out classes online, check out the link in the description down below for more details. Even though it's typically difficult for older folks, such as myself, to make friends, I have found a much stronger community of beloved friends around me here in Portugal. It definitely takes a little bit of effort, but if this introvert can do it, anybody can do it. Portugal offers a wide range of outdoor activities from cycling, surfing, hiking, paddleboarding, and so much more making it a great place for those who enjoy an active lifestyle. The country also has a number of national parks and protected areas, offering unique opportunities to explore nature on a daily basis, like I do. Most Portuguese are very kind, respectful, and caring. I regularly have experiences with people here where their kindness and care blow me away in the best way possible. This is very different from my lifelong experience in the States. There is also a far greater acceptance for people simply being who they naturally are over here. Whereas in the States, there is so much division. Part of this is because we are programmed towards competition and individualism in the United States. But in Portugal, community and care are made a priority. This helps them get through difficult times in the past and will help them grow into beautiful things in the future. I'm really proud to be a part of that now. While it's important to know why Portugal is awesome, it's also really important to know why you might not want to move to Portugal. I have certainly met people who are not a good fit for this kind of life change. Keep your eyes peeled for that video coming out soon, and those who like, subscribe, and ding that bell button will be alerted when that video comes out soon. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Ciao!